Nachlaot, a quiet and colorful neighborhood of Jerusalem with a long history. Its residents, artists, students, and religious people. None of them know that Bradley Fish is there, plugged in. Bradley immigrated to Israel from America, but he didn't come alone. He brought his studio and babies, the guitars. This is a Minarek guitar. This is, uh, it's got the goddess. It's a goddess guitar, the sun on it. And uh, it's number 11. <laughs> I got the 11th one ever made. But what made a musician and producer leave America, the center of the world music industry, and come to Israel? Why did I move to Israel? I love them little Jewish girls. You know that I do. Yeah, I love them little Jewish girls. You know that I do. It commands me in the Torah. Bradley Fish studied for many years to develop his abilities with strings and sounds. Down the long road of his musical career, he learned to play all sorts of musical instruments, including Chinese. It's, uh, it's gorgeous, you know, and it, it's uh, a different approach to the music, kind of a different vibe. And, and it's different scales, you know, like in uh, Western music, you, you know, you've got your kind of your happy major scales or like your minor. And you get into the Middle East and... whole different, different kind of approach. From his studio in Jerusalem, he produces music for artists and record companies abroad. I picked up a synthesizer when I was about almost 13, and a guitar when I was almost 14, electric guitar. And I just played all the time and took guitar lessons. And I did a degree in university in jazz guitar. And uh, did that for about five years. And the whole time I was playing in different kinds of bands and you know, different kinds of everything, rock and folk and blues, and you name it. It just kind of, it, it kind of took off, and then uh, I had a good year, I don't know, five years ago, I, I ended up buying a recording equipment to kind of get myself set up in a studio. I'd had five years previous to that kind of an independent record deal, so I got some studio experience, and um, 
it just took off from there, and I, I met the guy who later would work for Sony, and he got me connected to doing all these loops and royalty-free music for Sony in my studio. And I was doing that, and I just started doing it for other people as well and helping them produce their music. So people come to me now, and maybe they need like a, you know, music for a film score or for their video, or maybe they're a singer, but they want me to play all the instruments, the drums and the bass and guitar and ethnic instruments, whatever. And uh, I help them, whatever they need. So it's just kind of evolved over the years. And there is something that we really want to know. Is it true that records are successful with women? <laughs> oh, you're going to get me in trouble, man. I I'll tell you, the bigger the stage, like, the bigger the show, what is it about women? They, they like that. You know what I mean? It's so funny. One, two, three, so damn tired of calling the news.